I had this sense as a teacher that actually I'd be letting them down if I just focused on the grades that they were going to get without ever thinking about how were they going to be able to transition into a job or higher education. So Enabling Enterprise really grew out of my experience of being a secondary school teacher in East London. And uh, I taught business studies but had this uh, profound sense that actually the children I was working with weren't in any sense going to be ready for real life at the point they left school. And I just felt like they had had very little exposure to the working world. They hadn't had many opportunities to develop those skills that they'd actually need to be employable. And also that you know, teaching business studies itself could be a lot more enjoyable if they were learning it by developing so, their own businesses. We've talked a lot about being good to be different, but I want us to think a bit more The big things that we do job. are uh, based around lesson time projects. We've got partnerships with 30 really great businesses. So it might see a six-year-old working during lesson time to maybe design a new environmentally friendly toy, which culminates in them going to Hamley's toy shop and presenting what they've done. For some of the older ones, it might be around creating uh, an anti-bullying campaign perhaps, or as they get older and they join secondary school, they might be working with Crossrail to bring engineering into their maths lessons, or even setting up their own businesses by the time they're 16. A huge part of what really inspires the children is when we take them out on trips to these different businesses each term. So suddenly everything that they've been doing, they can see how this might apply to a future career. And the end result is fantastic because it means that they know what they want to do in the future. They've got huge amounts of evidence that they can actually do it. Um, and it changes their whole outlook on what the value is of what they're doing in school. They've never been in an environment where, um, with a lot of professionals um, with high levels of education um, and to start the day looking quite nervous um, and to end it you know, feeling confident enough that they could work there um, I think is a really good example of, of how much confidence it gives the students. So for me, the Lloyds Banking Group and the Social Entrepreneur Programme came at exactly the right time because the first couple of years had felt very much like survival, just trying to keep going. Um, start to build a little bit of momentum. But what this last year has really allowed us to do is to start thinking much more ambitiously about what we can achieve in the long run. So not just seeing ourselves as a, a nice add-on for schools, but actually what could we do that would, on a national level, really shift uh, students' readiness for real life. It's completely possible to get children of all backgrounds, of all educational attainments, ready to be employable. And the fact that it's such a huge problem and actually that we have a solution that really works and is really simple and is really cost effective and scalable just makes me feel like actually I've now got a real responsibility to, to grow it as much as I can and to make sure that as many children as possible benefit. Mm -hmm.